It's my absolute pleasure to introduce you all to Alfred Zinn from Cupranon. Alfred is going to give us a talk on innovative thermal via technology. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Alfred, who will now start his presentation. Thank you, Alfred. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Uh, my name is Alfred Zinn. I'm the president, founder, CTO of uh, Cupion Inc. We're located in beautiful Silicon Valley, even though it's raining right now, uh, so it's kind of cold. And in the next uh, 20 minutes, I'd like to introduce you to our exciting new copper technology that enables uh, to create very unique um, applications. Um, here, I'll focus on the thermal via technology. Um, as we all know, um, there's a problem with heat dissipation in printed circuit boards. I picked this picture off uh, the internet. I have myself um, saw once a laptop uh, burst into flames. Uh, so this is absolutely real and it's not due to short circuit. It's because things got too hot. And it's not surprising when you think about a printed circuit board is an insulator. It's typically FR4 with uh, glass fiber epoxy. Um, thermal conductivity is basically non-existent and uh, we're putting heat generating devices on an insulator and expect to get the heat out. So that has obviously problems as, as we all know. Um, I'll look briefly over uh, some current solutions, uh, then at our solutions, at our copper material, what it is, properties, and then we have time for some questions. So the problem as uh, shown in the images here with all those uh, heat sinks on top of uh, the various devices shows that we do have an issue. And when you look at it, the thermal conductivity of the printed circuit boards is very, very low with 0 0.25. Just as a comparison, copper is 400, aluminum is about 240. Uh, diamond is, uh, of course, way up there with uh, about 2200 watts uh, per meter Kelvin. So we really have an issue. We all know about it. Uh, the heat sinks show that um, and, and big heat, heat sinks so that we really have uh, a major challenge to further improve um, on the performance of uh, our computers. And uh, a couple solutions are being used and have been used over the years. Uh, one is um, having a small thermal vias, as uh, shown here, directly underneath um, a, a component. Um, these are small holes that are drilled through the circuit board and then uh, filled in with copper via electroplating. Um, the electric plating process has some constraints, so you have to have fairly small holes. You cannot fill big ones because it would take too long. Um, even those small ones here um, take 10 to 12 hours to fill them all in. And having a bunch of them, um, when you look at it overall surface area, you can see that there's still a lot of circuit board in between and your total um, thermal conductivity as, as a simplified value here um, is still very, very low because the overall surface area of the copper um, that it covers is, is very small. So we have um, size limitations, um, aspect ratio limitations simply due to the electroplating process. Then the next, what um, has become more um, prevalent these days is using copper coins. So that's a big copper slug that goes into the circuit board and really allows uh, the heat to be uh, dissipated in two directions, uh, which is a big improvement. Um, again, implementing copper coins into circuit board is a bit of a challenge. You have to have the size exactly right. You need to pre-order them. And then when you make your printed circuit board, things aren't always perfect because of the process or of hot pressing multiple layers together. Um, you have very limited flexibility, you have warping, and it's really expensive uh, to make. Often it requires hand assembly and pushing it in. Um, they sit in there, they can fall out during um, temperature excursion. Um, so it 